So basically, I want to show one more time how um, you can soak your hand in hydrogen peroxide and get the strongyloides or threadworm parasites to show up when they're in the second phase of their life when they live in your lymphatic. I um, this came up with this by prayer, and it seems weird to some people, but there's nothing that I can find online about it or anything. But I came outside because the inside it turns kind of yellow, and I'm hoping that with distance or shadows or something, I can actually let you see it. Okay, you look at my hand now. It's you know, it's got dirt on it from gardening, but it's not, there's no white dots, it's not anything. Now, last night I soaked it for about a half an hour. Now I'm going to set this down for a minute. Hopefully you can see what I do. So you can just see that's what I'm doing. That's hydrogen peroxide bought today at Walmart. And all I'm doing is pouring it on one time. Like, I'm not soaking in it or anything. Every time you do this, you have to... Okay, now I'm hoping that as you watch, you can see the white dots appear because some of them are already dead under the skin and those ones will show up really quickly. You can see the white foamy and that's just the foam um, uh, with the bacteria on the skin. That's not what I'm talking about. That will go away. I can wipe that off. But what comes up in the next five minutes, those are the parasites. They... Um, the ones that show up real quickly are the ones that are dead, and the ones that take a little bit while longer are the ones that, um, are coming up. And the ones that are coming up, um, that, as they come up, they really kind of hurt. They're not comfortable <laughs> at all. But, um, the ones that, um, are dead, they just kind of show up. They feel like, I, I've described it on another one, and I've written written on it about my blog. My blog is thesecretisgratitude.com, and on there I describe how it feels when you first put it on, and you kind of, I used to spray it, I used to just spray it on my hand um, to make them come up, and it took about an hour and a half of spraying every 10 minutes, but then um, I just started soaking my hand in it. So you can see there's some little whiter, brighter spots on there. And the bigger, those are definitely the parasites. Um, I've been doing this for about a week on and off. And the bigger ones um, have typically died off because I've been doing this. But the smaller ones are definitely coming up. So you saw, I just, it was clear before, I just sprayed some peroxide on it and it's getting painful now that they're popping up all over and I can feel them and you can see there's well, the white chalky is the skin but the white dots are the parasites and it's getting painful as they more come to the surface um yeah they're coming faster now as the par the hydrogen peroxide dries up they're they're coming to the surface more quickly and it's more painful um if I do this for, if I sit here for another 20 minutes, my entire hand will be white and there will be dots all over it. And it will be painful. It is painful. I don't recommend this unless you need it for a diagnostic tool because the, um, the tests that they have, I don't know, yeah, there you go. You can see it better there. The tests that they have for this, yeah, you can see it really well now. Now, if you just if I sit it like this and watch it, you'll see more and more and more come up, and I can feel them coming up. I can feel them crawling. Um, oh, let me see if I can show you that back of my hand. I was going to describe this. The hair. It feels like there's things coming up underneath my skin, and the hair stands on end. Now, I don't know if you can see the hair um, without the darkness behind it. But it just did that. It feels like there's worms crawling underneath my skin. It's getting painful, and the hairs are standing on end. And I will just sit here for another five minutes or so. I've got to go get somebody. That, that was that text. But um, you can see how white my hands are, how more dots are coming up. I did this earlier for a woman who said she thought she had it, and I wanted her to show her the difference um, between... Uh, 
what your hand looks like when there's nothing <laughs> and what they look like once you've soaked it. Now, I, the more coming up is because I soaked it and they're in there and they're already irritated. But if you didn't soak your hand for half an hour, um, and the reason I'm sharing this with you is if you need to diagnose this and show it to your doctor, this is what you're going to have to do. You can't just say, I feel creepy crawlies, and they can't do a stool culture because this does not show up on stool cultures. These parasites do not show up. Um, you can see on other posts that I have um, on my blog and the videos that I have, this, the parasites are bigger. These are all smaller. I've been taking the medication for um, oh, just over a week, and... Um, these are all the little ones that were obviously laid and hatched and are coming out. It's a 20, 15 to 28 day cycle um, when the parasites lay their eggs to when they grow up and or hatch and grow. I don't know if it's 28 from when they lay the eggs to when they hatch. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Um, because I would get a rash about every 22 days or so. Oh my gosh, this is so painful. Um, they're just popping up everywhere. And I'm hoping that you can see that. Very white, clear dots everywhere. There's millions of them. And my lungs have been burning so bad, so bad, so bad. Over the last week and a half, two weeks. But the worse than normal. I mean, it's been, this burning has been going on for years. But I didn't have this hyperinfection with all these millions of parasites before. And now I've just got millions of them. But at least we figured it out. And I'm grateful for this hydrogen peroxide because when you tell the doctor you've got creepy crawlies and they do this culture test, um, stool test, and then a negative comes up, most of them don't know what this parasite is. They don't know how to treat it. They don't know how to diagnose it. And um, so I just wanted to sh show you that they're coming up. And it's extremely painful when they do. Um, and, you know, they're not going to come off. They are under the Call skin. Hold on. Call from. I'll be right there. Um, so, this is a way to show your doctor how to diagnose them. Um, you soak your hand the day before you go to the doctor in hydrogen peroxide for about half an hour and then um, after you take your hand out these will start popping up and they will start hurting and most of them are bigger than this. Mine are smaller because I, like I said I've been getting treated and these are the ones that have been hatching and growing so they're a lot smaller than the other ones I had. Um, and then um, it'll look like this. I mean, I soaked this hand yesterday too. You don't see anything there. There's no white dots. They're really dirty because I've been weeding all afternoon. But um, nothing, you know, no white dots. And then you saw how long it took. I, I just poured peroxide over it. And within five, ten Call minutes. From Anna Beautiful Princess five. Call from Anna Beautiful. I'll be right there. Bye. What? I'll call you right back. Bye. Um, sorry. I don't want to, I won't be able to do this later. The sun's going down and I want to post it so I can share. Some people have been asking me how to diagnose it because they have some symptoms. So, um, yeah, it takes about, what has it been, five minutes since I started this? And, yeah, it's been about five, seven minutes. They're still coming out. It's still extremely painful. They're still popping out. Um, and they will for another 10 minutes or so, and then they will start to fade, and um, unless I keep them up. And you can see there's a couple of bigger ones um, where I haven't soaked. If I did my arm, like if I soaked a cloth and I wrapped it in my on my arm, I would have um, bigger ones. You can see every single one of those little teeny dots is, is a parasite. So... Um, it, this is the hyper syndrome and hopefully you don't get that and a way to not get that is don't let your doctor diagnose you with just one week of medication. This parasite takes, like I said, 21 days or so to go through the cycle and um, if you, and, and the medications that you take, the oral medications that you take, do not kill this phase. 
They do not kill it when they're in your lymphatic like this. They only kill it when they're in your lungs, which is the first phase, and when they're in the gut, which is the third phase. So nothing that medical science has out there will kill it in this phase. The hydrogen peroxide will kill, um, I don't think it kills all of them, obviously, because they're still coming up, but it will kill them in um, this phase, some of them. Because I know because um, after it looks like this, once they fade, in about two days, I will have little teeny round circles. And you can kind of see, if I kind of rubbed my hand up a little bit, you would be able to see the dry skin comes up in circles. So I know something has died underneath there, kind of like a thorn got in there. But it's not. It's a parasite kind of burrow. Um, and I've had them for a long time not knowing what they were. But now that I've used this method to kill them off, I will have more of those um, little dry, flaky kind of things coming up with holes underneath them, so I'm sure it kills off some of the parasites. So anyway, that's, you can see they're almost completely white with dots. It's terrible, painful. I recommend you get your cats wormed, dewormed. This is from a cat. Um, I thought at the beginning that it was from um, giving pedicures in Peru, but I had different symptoms back then, and I think I got hookworm from that. Um, I just am susceptible to things. I don't have a lot of stomach acid, and so when um, I get things, digest things that I don't, I'm not able to kill them off, and so I tend to get parasites pretty easily. Um, so uh, my sister-in-law got a, a scratch from her cat, and they have not wormed their cat, and she ended up with a horrible rash, and you can see that on my blog, thesecretisgratitude.com, on her hand for the past year from that cat scratch. So she knows it came from cats. And um, I have neighbors that go in my, I have this huge garden area back here. I'm just drying a tarp right there, but um, you can see I have a huge garden area, and the cats just love going underneath my trampoline and doing their business. And I garden back there all the time barefoot. In fact, I was back there pulling weeds today and gardening back there, doing my garden today without shoes on, and I have no shoes on right now. So I probably got it from that, but anyway, let's see if you can see it any better. I'm trying to get the best light, but there's just no really good light for this. I wonder if it would show up. Nope. Anyway, that is it. They're white all over, a million dots, and I just hope that this can help somebody diagnose and treat it, because I've been fighting it forever trying to figure it out. And um, most people, like I said, won't have this hyperinfection unless they do something stupid and take one dose of medication or a couple doses. You need to do a full month on medication to kill this. And if you have a hyperinfection, and they say six months, but you'll never cure it. And I'm praying that I can prove them wrong. So I'm developing some tests, and I'm developing some treatment options that have helped me. Hopefully I can help other people with this, that they can maybe be cured. Anyway, good luck.